So here is one chemical polarity and uh, this is one important area we are going to talk in the field of chemistry. My name is Venkat, I am a Microsoft most valuable professional. In chemistry, polarity is a separation of uh, electric charges leading to a molecule or its chemical groups having an electric dipole or multipole moment. Polar molecules interact through dipole dipole intermolecular forces and hydrogen bonds. You are able to see there is no permanent dipole. Two neon atoms are coming. Induced dipoles cause attraction. Here is the water molecule which got hydrogen and one oxygen. It is a polar molecule. Plus and minus is A. Whereas ethane, it's a non-polar molecule and it doesn't have the electrons shared equally. So polar molecules, the electrons are shared unequally here. It's unequal. Over ethane, it's equally shared. So this is how the difference is. Over here, partial charge. This is a partial charge. And you are able to see the bond dipoles and here is the option of net dipole. So chemical bonding is the result of either an atom sharing one or more outer orbit electrons with another atom or an atom taking outer orbit electrons from the atom with which it is bonding. Normally, an atom has an even distribution of electrons in the orbital shells, but if more end up on one side than the other in a molecule, there can be a resulting electrical field in that area. We got a lot of plus two intermediate physics 3D videos with us. It's a eight DVDs in a single pack. You can buy it from Flipkart or GTEC website, or you can buy it directly. So here is the bond type. Polar covalent, non-polar covalent and polar covalent here. So for water, methane and carbon dioxide, we are trying to show the molecular bond and the shape. Over here, this is called a bent shape and here it's a tetra mono di tri tetrahedral and this is linear. And the molecular type is polar here. This is non-polar and over here it's non-polar. Let's talk about water. Water is considered as a polar. Water is a polar molecule because of the way the atom binds in the molecule such that there are excess electrons on the oxygen atom. You are able to see the excess electrons. And a lack of excess positive charge on the hydrogen side of the molecule, so it is considered as polar. So attraction between the sigma plus of the oxygen, hydrogen and oxygen is known as hydrogen bonding. So here is the bond created that is a polar covalent bond between hydrogen and oxygen. The compounds will call it as ionic compound. The reason is the ions are joined to form the compound. Cation is always smaller than the atom form which it is formed. And anion is always larger than atom from which it is formed. So cation is positive one and anion is negative one. They form an ionic compound. So a compound is there if it contains a lot of ions then it is called ionic. A complete transfer of electrons are full ionic charges. The example is sodium chloride, which is a combination of a metal and a non-metal. Over there, the compound which got unequal sharing of electrons with a partial ionic charges. So HCl, hydrochloric acid. It got two different non-metal joining up. 
and over here under covalent we got non-polar the equal sharing of electrons with no charges hydrogen hydrogen is two identical non-metal combination so bond can be ionic or covalent under covalent it's polar or non-polar so here is the example of polar molecules of materials that are gases under standard conditions the examples are ammonia NH3 sulfur dioxide and hydrogen sulfide so an ethanol it's an alcohol base is a polar since its oxygen molecule draws electron towards it due to its high electronegativity causing a negative charge around itself we got plus two intermediate chemistry 3d videos with us it's a 10 dvds as a single pack you can buy it from our gtech website or you can call us directly let's talk about the nonpolar molecule a nonpolar molecule is one that the electrons are distributed more symmetrically and thus does not have an abundance of charges at the opposite sides. So the charges all cancel out each other. That's referred to as nonpolar molecules. So the typical examples of nonpolar liquids are hydrocarbon liquids are nonpolar molecules. The example include toluene, gasoline. This is toluene, gasoline, alkynes with the three bond. Because they are cannot be solved in water, it can dissolve in water as do polar molecules. Alkane is single bond, alkene is double bond, alkyne is triple bond. We got a lot of YouTube videos with us and you can subscribe to our YouTube channel to see all those videos. You can post your questions or queries or anything in the YouTube videos so that our expert team will help you on this. And this is our contact number. Thank you.